Hi, um, hope you have enjoyed my previous videos um, related to many different topics and mainly on teams and then many video conferencing and some of the other topics. Today we are going to look at a different uh, feature of a Windows 10. Again, I have uh, explained a couple of features of Windows 10 early, in earlier videos. You can go, there, go and watch them, which is coming as a suggestion. And today I'm going to speak about a feature which is called your phone in Windows 10. So what it does actually, it helps you link your phone to Windows PC machine, Windows 10 machine and interact with its notifications, messages, uh, gallery uh, in terms of photos, then applications installed on a phone and then also in specific calls. Uh, this works perfectly with Android phone iPhone as well, you can use the your phone application in Windows 10, but with some limited functionality. Without further ado, let's see how can we link an Android phone in this video to a Windows PC and make maximum out of it. So the beauty about this is like you're not investing on any third party application. Rather, you are making use of a feature which is by default available in Windows 10. If you're using Samsung or many of the compatible uh, Android phones, you can even do a casting from your phone screen to the PC itself. That is also available with Samsung, which I'm going to display today. It works with many of the Android phone. I recommend you to go and try it in your Android phone uh, and share me the comments. Without further ado, let's jump into the video and see how can you link your Android phone with the Windows PC with the default or the built-in feature of Windows 10, your phone. Open the your phone from your Windows 10 machine. And uh, you have got two options, whether it's Android or iPhone. I'm going with Android. iPhone will also work, but very limited functionality. In any case, uh, you have to use whether it is Hotmail, Outlook or Live Account and that will be used to manage the devices or basically link the devices in this case i have already logged in so it did not ask me the authentication for you it will ask you the authentication initially to continue the process in your android phone you either have to install the your phone application or if it is a samsung device in my case it is samsung you can go to the settings and then look for link to windows options and once you open it and you have an option to scan a qr code click on it and scan the qr code which is displaying on the computer to initiate the process so once the process is over the screen on the windows will automatically close if it did not then you can say done but usual, in usual scenario, it will be closed automatically. So now, once the linking is complete, to ensure that the connection between the phone and the computer, the PC is complete, you need to give it a time. So leave it for like around two to three minutes or maybe up to five minutes. Uh, if it is showing some error that it is yet to establish the connection, you will see the status on the status bar of mobile as well. So once the connection is established, now you can navigate to most of the notifications, messages, photos, applications and so forth. In this scenario, I have connected both the phone and my Windows 10 machine onto the same Wi-Fi. It will even work over an internet as well you can see that the machine is connected in the mobile app linked to windows and now you can click on notifications messages or anything it will start popping up on your windows 10 machine the notifications messages photos apps and so forth you can go to notifications in order to see the notification that is available in the phone and you can go to the messages in order to see the text messages and in photos you will see all the gallery uh, limited to the photos and you can go to the apps and browse through the apps that you have installed in the mobile the other 
amazing feature is like you can open the font screen this wasn't working for many phones but uh, it works here for the samsung and you know uh, i would recommend you to test what it does is actually it is virtually connecting you to the phone screen so you can do all the activity that you used to do it in a phone without taking that in your hand so you can keep it in the pocket and you can interact with the phone as if like you are uh, you're taking off the phone into the hand and doing the activities so once you have the phone screen you know i don't have to explain what you can do you can do virtually everything so you can open the text messages you can open the application you can make a call you can make anything now the next good feature is calls so under which you can connect to the phone and authorize from the phone to use the your phone application from windows to make calls receive calls or so forth so for which it needs to be set up so allow the permission when it is asking you to do so and then it will try to peer, pair with a security code to ensure you are connecting or linking to the right windows machine and uh, once you confirm the code is same say yes in both locations or both devices and you get access to the dial pad and you can make calls now and if you want to see the call logs you need to provide an additional permission once you say allow then you get the access so that's pretty much all what i want to explain you on the your phone application how seamlessly you can interact with your phone without any extra software being installed on the windows machine and especially windows 10 machine and what if if you want to remove a linked phone so you can do that from the um devices panel of your outlook or hotmail or live account so you don't have an option to do it right from here in the application you have to go manage device under the live microsoft or you know hotmail or outlook account and you have an option called devices there you can choose the device which you want to remove and then you can say unlink so in like uh, less than a minute time you will see that uh, the phone is not listed under the your phone of settings of your windows 10 machine and it will disappear from the your phone app on your windows 10 machine So uh, you saw how useful the your phone application within Windows. Uh, it is worth trying definitely, you know, without uh, any third party application, you are, in, you are able to cast your phone to your Windows 10 machine and you can interact with the phones like mess messages, calls, photos, uh, and app application as such. So uh, it is definitely worth trying and I recommend you to try it since it is from Microsoft that they're going to improve this application on a regular basis so you will see more and more uh, feature you know pumped into this so it is um, definitely something that is worth trying if you like the video do not forget to subscribe the channel and also click on the reminder bell button just next to the subscribe uh, button so as to get notified on the new video that i'm going to come up with very soon and have a nice day see you